trumpet of the Lord strikes the night and the morning breaks eternal light and day. When the saving birds shall gather over on the other shore, and the road is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the road is called up yonder, when the road. Praise team, what a great way to get started today. Good morning, everybody. Happy first week, Sunday after Easter. We're glad to be together with you in worship. And uh, guess what? He's still risen. Amen. Amen, he is. He will continue to be. He reigns and rules in heaven. And we get the blessing today of continuing to lift up joy and honor and praise to his name. We're glad that you're here today. The flowers we have here for our worship service are given to the glory of God. In the memory of uh, Jim Simmons, Clyde and Ruby Ron, Arthur and Maggie Ron, Eugene and Ann Ron, Lexi and Hubert Edwards, and Reggie Nidlinger, given by Jackie Simmons, her family. So thanks for those beautiful arrangements today um, in worship. Church family, I want to encourage you to check out the different announcements that are in the bulletin. We have different groups meeting soon, like Evangelism Committee, Willing Workers, that will be coming up. Also on the back of the bulletin, you can see when the Men's Supper will be taking place later in the month. Uh, Willing Workers, Women's, uh, United Methodist Women coming up, uh, American Red Cross. So check out those different things that are taking place. Also, we um, want you to be aware of the Global Methodist Church. That is the um, uh, new traditional Evangelical Wesleyan um, uh, Methodist denomination. That's a lot to say in one time. That uh, will look to be launched uh, in 2022. But you can keep up with their ministry and what they're about. Um, through the website there. Also, the Wesleyan Covenant Association uh, has a global gathering coming up on May the 1st that you can uh, tune into online. I would encourage us to do so for that, and there's a website there for how to um, check it out. Uh, great praise with our Jesus um, bag Easter offering. We had over $3,000 given to help with Bible translation, and so there's a um, you know people group that, that um, right now... Um, the Bible is being translated into their language, and they're going to be able to get that and read God's Word for themselves. And so we're going to keep that open for a couple more weeks. If you uh, brought your Jesus bag in today or want to by next week, you can put that in um, the offering plate. Also, um, uh, Eric. Eric. Right here. Thank you, Eric. Yes. Eric, what do we have going on with our youth group, brother? Yeah, so just a, just a quick, uh, last uh, this past Thursday we went to the beach just to praise God for that. We had a great time out at the beach with the youth. Um, it was uh, a little cloudy, but a little windy, but it was perfect. It was nice. With the sand, sand art, uh, played in the water, had a great time uh, that night. So tonight we do have MYF at 5 o'clock. Uh, middle school, small groups at 4. That's prior to that. Um, and then high school, small groups this Thursday. Uh, one of the things I just wanted to bring up here about Snack Supper is 
really need some volunteers to help us with that snack supper on youth night. So we have, I think we have a lot of openings out there for people to sign up to help with that. So really would uh, appreciate uh, any support and helping hands there that you could do for that. And then, of course, we'll start talking about this here as it gets closer. But we have uh, some senior activities coming up as well. So our Senior Higher Recognition Sunday is coming up in the middle of May. And we just, uh, we just uh, lift up all the seniors this year and just want to be in prayer over them um, as they celebrate the end of this year and then move on to different Amen. things in their life. Amen. Lots to uh, be in prayer for them about. Look forward to for the snack suppers. I think ramen noodles is one of the favorite meals for the youth group. So that's just one suggestion there for our youth ministry on that. But definitely look to help out for the uh, kids ministry. A, a family fun night will be again tonight at 530. And then also um, we're going to do something this summer called Fam Jam. It'll be uh, June 13th through June 16th. We're going to start it off with uh, Jesse Joyner's professional uh, juggler. Shows the message of Christ through juggling we're going to have an epic water balloon battle a tie-dye night so a lot of good fun coming up this summer that amy wanted folks to be aware of i also have an announcement I want to share today um, uh, kelton calhoun uh, has been leading our praise and worship team now for 26 months and we've been so thankful for kelton's heart for the lord as he hides in the back corner uh, back there amen um, when um, when Jake felt that calling to go back up to Indiana to do ministry, you know, the next question was like, okay, well, who, who, who do we have to help lead worship? And Jake prayed over it. We prayed over it together. And he's like, can I really feel like, you know, Kelton uh, is who's God's leading to raise that up. And so uh, Kelton uh, was maybe shocked by that. He was then willing to serve. Um, and uh, he has um, done such an amazing job. You think about what he's done. He's helped transition us from Jake moving to Indiana to also helping us through COVID. We've done worship in sanctuaries. We've done worship here in the Family Life Center. We've done worship outside, and we're so thankful for the prayer and the preparation, the planning that has all gone on to that. Kelton um, shared with me about a couple weeks ago that he's feeling like God's leading him into a different season and so he's looking to step down from this ministry. Um, and so I just wanted to take a moment, church family, for us just to thank him so much for what he's done. Amen. Uh, he's done all this as a volunteer for the glory of the Lord. And I think that's a, an amazing gift. Um, and so we want to bless him as well. And so his last Sunday leading worship with the praise team is going to be uh, two weeks from today, April 25th. And so on that Sunday, uh, we want to bless um, Kellen with a love offering. All right. And so there'll be an email going out tomorrow. He's, I don't know how he's looking at me right now. It doesn't matter what you say. It's going to happen. So we want to bless Kellen with a love offering. Just to say thank you for your heart for Jesus and what you've done. Um, he likes Robin noodles as well. And so he can buy a lot of them with that. But we're very thankful for the leadership you've provided and the team every week, the way that you lead us into the presence of the Lord, all those who serve. Um, our staff, uh, yes, Kelton? Amen. It's been wonderful. Great worship to the Lord. We're thankful for that, for all the team that does that. So our staff parish committee is meeting today. We're going to begin the process of uh, praying through and working towards um, a praise and worship uh, leader to look to hire to bring on board. Um, and so you can be in prayer for us through that. You can also share with us different ideas and thoughts of what you'd like to see uh, in this process as well. Um, but Kelt, we, we love you, brother, and we're thankful for you so much. And glad you're playing the banjo today. That'll be fun. So uh, church family, let's stand together and uh, let's pray. Father, we just want to thank you that your son, Jesus Christ, is still the risen king and the Lord of life. We want to thank you today that his spirit lives inside of all of us who have come to know him as the one who forgives all of our sins and who is the Lord, the leader of our life, his salvation alive in us. We want to thank you today for the way that you lead us to be a people of great belief, of great faith in who you are, great God. And so come today, be magnified and glorified in this place. Come today, Lord, and show yourself to all of us today. 
Lord, show yourself strong. Show yourself good. Show yourself faithful. Show yourself loving. Show yourself near. Show us that you're God, that you're holy, and that you're worthy of it all. All praise and honor and adoration. Lord, we love you. We thank you for the blessing it is to praise your name today. Come, Holy Spirit, come. And may we be touched by the presence of the living God. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.
God for the Lord Deuteronomy 10:17 reads for the Lord for the Lord your God is God of gods the Lord of lords the great God mighty and awesome who shows no partiality and accepts no bribes the word of God for the people of God amen <laughs> You are mighty, you are holy, you are awesome in your power. You have risen, you have conquered, you have beaten the power of death. You are mighty, you are holy, you are awesome in your power. You have risen, you have conquered, you have beaten. Y'all be seated, please. Amen. Thank you, praise team. Amen. Amen. I, I love the words of that song, you know, that God is mighty, that God is awesome, uh, that he's powerful, um, that he is risen, that he has conquered, that he has beaten the power of death. You know, he's worthy. He's worthy to be praised, y'all. He's worthy for us to lay down our lives for him. He is worthy for us to give our all for him. He is worthy for us to trust in. He is the one who has conquered, and he is the risen Lord of life. 
And today we want to be a people who will believe and have faith that he is who he says he is and that he still does what he always said he would do. And to let him be the God that brings life to us today. Where did it, today do we need the life of God? Where today do we need the victory of the Lord? Where today do we need the strength of God? Where today do we need to trust in the faithfulness of the Lord? Where today do we need to rely on the goodness of God? He's not changed. He's forever the same almighty God. And he's still as wonderful today as he was on the first day that you and I ever came to know him as the Lord of life. He's still as good today the way that he's always been good before we ever came to be encountered by him. The way that he worked in his provenient grace to draw us close and make us right with God so that we could be holy and set apart from him. Let's acknowledge why we're here today. If we're here today because this is what we do on Sunday morning, then let me tell you something. We need to change the way we're thinking. Amen. We want to see Jesus. David. Amen. Amen. He's here. He doesn't hide from us. He's here. Amen. If we need a fresh touch of the Lord today, he is here. He is here because more than any of us may want to encounter God today, he wants it even more. And many, and maybe some of us here today are like, well, I'd like just to get on out of here. Well, guess what? You can't run from him. <laughs> Wherever you go, he'll still be there. Knocking on that heart's door. Saying, let me in. Let me rule. Let me reign. We're here because he is the risen Lord. And he still works miracles today. He still raises the dead today. He still brings spiritual life today. He still heals marriages today. He still saves the one who is running from him. He still shows mercy and grace in our time of need. He's still the one that says there is life and it's abundant and it's eternal. And right now, y'all, we, we just get like a taste of what that's like. Y'all ever been at the food court, you know, and they give out samples, right? Some of you, that's my, how you did lunch that day, right? You had like two bucks on you. I mean, I've done that before, right? I had two bucks on me. I knew what I could get with two bucks, and I just kind of walk up to that food court and wait about 15 minutes and walk back down, all right? Don't judge me, all right? I'm just, just telling you the truth. But each place didn't give me a full meal, did it? It just gave me what? A taste. And right now, we get a taste of the glory of God, which is so amazing because we get a lot of it. But someone like Mr. Jimmy Snooks, who went home to be with Jesus last night, He gets the full taste of the glory of God today. Jimmy lived 87 years, I believe, of his life. 86, 87. Many of us saw his witness through the choir where he was a member of that choir for well over 60 years. Today, Jimmy gets to experience all the glory of God. And we pray for Allison. We pray for Miss Linda and all the family for God's comfort. But we don't sit here today as a people who don't know where he's at. We give thanks to God that there is a risen Savior and King who's the Lord of life. And that when any of us breathes our last, if our life has been found and surrendered and born again in Jesus Christ, that we too will get to see the full glory of God one day. 
So let's pray together this morning. Glory to you. Just begin, just where you're at, just begin to say glory, God. Glory to God. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to you, Lord. All majesty and honor and praise to you, Lord. Y'all just look on the beautiful face of Jesus right now. His eyes like fire, his hair like wool. Just that image of purity and of passion for the glorious presence of Jesus. Father, what an amazing thing it is when we look into the face of your Son, when we fix our eyes on Jesus. That everything else around us truly does begin to fade away. All anxiety and every worry. Every preparation and plan. So family of God, just look into the face of Jesus.